Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Cassie. I'm a full-time reseller and my husband Marcus helps me out along the way. So thankful for his support and he's doing such an amazing job as you have seen on previous informational videos. So on today's video, we're gonna be taking you to some garage sales. There were a ton of garage sales this weekend and we found some amazing items. I know I say this every week, but this weekend we found multiple items with at least 80 to a hundred dollars in value incredible guys after the garage sales we're gonna head on over to Goodwill and we find some amazing items as well over there so you want to stick around to the end of this video we're gonna go over our haul we're gonna share with you what we think we can get on these items we're gonna share tips and tricks that are working for us in this business so the time has come to go find some treasures let's get it Hello, good morning. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, my ear. Help me. Okay. Get the camera. Oh look! But it never known. Oh yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. power. <laughs> How to pass over <laughs> that so fast. Look at typewriter. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Here, come hold the boots for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. This is a, a, a brother. Okay. Uh, it's a SX4000. Nice. 250 listed. 248 sold. Nice. 80 to 100. Okay. Three dollars. Plug it in and make sure. I mean, we won't be able to. Like, there's, can't put paper yeah. in it. I mean, I guess I can plug it in just to make sure it comes it's on. Three dollars. Mm -hmm. It'd be worth it just for the. Yeah. It, I'm sure it works. Good chance. I, I would be willing to bet they probably mm -hmm. checked it. And look, it comes with a cover. Oh, it's perfect. That's so, yep. It's not that stuff. heavy. So. Great mm -hmm. pickup. By the way, this uh, Stanley shirt to pass. Okay. I checked it. Do so. you want to hold that? Yeah, if you don't mind. Just, I'm kind of balancing. Okay. Look, you want to put the jeans on my shoulder? I got it. You got it? Okay. All right. Yep. That's a really good pickup. <laughs> so, this is brother uh -huh. and it's the sx 4000 love it mm -hmm. pick up mm -hmm. for three dollars mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> they just went off the market. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sorry, they in the room. Give ten. Thank you so much. Hope y'all do well. So, Okay. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very nice. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Y'all too. Good luck. Bye bye. Wait. You want to mess with those skis or no? The water skis right there. Yeah, yeah. I saw that when I walked up. <laughs> I'm like 15. Let's see if these were good. Those we are could good. bottle the hocus. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They were in good shape, too. Let's get them. You get them? Yeah. I paid 20 on, my, on the last pair. I wonder if they would do a bundle deal with the hocus. Let me go. Let me go look at that. I have a question. Would y'all do a little discount for both of these like together? Deal? Yeah, ten dollars for the pair. Ten. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think that yeah. we can do that. Yeah. So thirty together. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I've been having those skis since the seventies. <laughs> those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love these. They're almost like an art piece, you know? Like uh, yes, we do they so. really are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he used to ski. He used to, he used to start on one ski and kick one off. Change. Oh no, Come on. on. What? He used to be good at it. Wow. That's amazing. But definitely vintage. <laughs> no, that's that's awesome. You can hang them on the wall. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like an art piece. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Definitely. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank y'all. Hope y'all do well today. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, my wife and I are uh, we are resellers, so the cack attack. <laughs> cack, C A C K, and then attack. Uh huh. All right, cool. Thank you, man. So? Huh? Yeah. 
I found some 560s, but they uh, they had stains on them. So I'll pass. I got one. They're all this. These are a uh, big size uh, mossy oak. Nice. This is a vintage Canon jacket. Okay. Um, look, put the camera on it. Okay. This is a vintage Canon jacket. Mm -hmm. um, and it sold for about $42. Nice. So, my Canon awesome. um, picture. So, uh, what you got here? So. Okay, so I found these Carhartt Carver. pants. So, you can look at them. Okay. Oh. Nope. Oh. Stains, but it should be okay. Huh? They're vintage. I think they're vintage. Yeah, they're definitely know. carpenter. So I think carpenter would pick up. Yep. Yeah. Let's Let pick up. That's similar to the ones we got before. Yeah, I think they're Let's vintage. Let's pick up. Yeah. Yep. They, they we, are we got, three dollars. Nice. Yeah, even with the stains, we yeah. might try to get that out. Looks mm -hmm. like paint, but either way, I think they're yeah. uh, they're a pickup. Yeah. So. Yep, so that's good. Carhartt. Carhartt pants. And the carpenter, we sold cargo. Yes. I mean, um, camo. Yes. So, so, so right, that's so one. Okay. And then we need to look up. This one is definitely a pickup, which I showed you okay. guys. Yep. Okay. I know, I love it. It's vintage. It's very cool. The Carhartt pants, too. Those yeah, are cool. Yeah, those are really cool. You put your phone Six, seven, six, 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 <laughs> that girl got a water cash. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 15, 15, $10. Well, yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate Thank y'all so much. It. Thank y'all. Good luck you. today. Thank you. Thank you. Never does, never does. We found some amazing stuff. We did. Mm, good, 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 good. The items that we are finding are just blowing our minds. It's insane. Like the value, which I'm gonna put how much we spent on the screen and the estimated value, the value from this week 
from today and we went uh, to a garage sale yesterday. The value is just insane. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Okay, right, so, so let's get started. You wanna start with yours and- Yes, okay. let, let's start with mine. So we'll start with the what we got at the, the church rummage yes, sale. Yes, yes, so what um, do you wanna start with? Yeah, so let's just, start, well, you know what? We might as well start with men's pants and men's jeans. Foundation of the business. Okay? All right, so let's do the Vertex, Vertex. We recently covered these in a video, so let's show y'all the tag. We don't know a whole lot about these. We have sourced one other pair of uh, men's pants that are Vertex, and uh, we have them listed currently. We haven't gotten any bites yet, but we do anticipate very soon. But if you wanna open them up just yeah. to show them, they're always compare uh, pants like these to like cool pants, um, you know, outerwear type of pants. Uh, these aren't, uh, they do have like the little stitching right here for um, like the knee. I don't know if there's extra padding. I don't think there is in the knees. But, um, but then if you flip them on back, um, you know, th there's nothing too, too special. They do have the cool little, almost looks like a little carpenter kind of hit on each side where it's like a little extra pocket. And these have a little bit of wear. Looks like there was some, uh, I don't know if that's leather or, you know, some type of pleather or something like that but um but anyway it's worn off a little bit but overall they're in great condition sell through rates over 100 percent, as y'all know that we shared in a recent video and i think we got everything at that rummage sale for like ten dollars mm -hmm. it was eight dollars and we went ahead and just gave them ten and yes, said keep the change uh for everything we're going to go over so mm -hmm. what a couple of dollars per item so yes. a little over two dollars these probably flip into 30. amazing pickup yes so the ariat jeans not much to talk about with these. These aren't flame resistant, but um, but they're in great condition. And these are a size 38 waist, 30 length. So they're a bigger size. Those always sell a lot better. So you can flip them on back. Um, these are kind of more of a basic pair. Um, not a whole lot to them. Uh, don't don't have the Ariat tag on the back, but you can't they're go wrong with Ariat. Yeah. So a good solid thirty dollars on those two. Yes. You know, high twenties, low thirties. Yes. So great. Uh, Always a pickup for us and for every reseller, it's different. But we sell Ariat so fast, like it flies off the shelf as as soon as we list it, as fast as we list it, it's it's gone. Yes. So yep. One of my favorite brands. Yep. Okay, so those were two great items, and then uh, I also found some boots now. What's so funny is when I see boots like this, I always look for th Thursday. I always think that they're Thursday boots. Y'all know we've shared a uh, in a recent video about Thursday shoes, and I did actually find some Thursday boots. I just didn't share it with y'all, and we've since sold them for $60. But these look like Thursday boots. They were not. They are Laredo. If y'all can see that. Boots, and when you look at this brand, I was not familiar with this brand, but when you look it up, um, the sell-through rate isn't quite as good as Thursday. It's definitely not over 100%, but it's not terrible. It's somewhere around probably 60, 70%, something like that. And I found an exact sold comp for these boots for like $62. Mm -hmm. So I think we're probably gonna get conservatively about 50 to 55. There was a couple of stains on them um, that, you know, just that I think we can maybe get out. We'll put the Doc Martin Wonder Bomb on there and it does wonders. Um, and then, um, and then if you look at, show them again, the sole, um, you can tell that I don't think they've been worn. No, they're, oh my goodness. It, it doesn't look like yeah. any scuffing. So with the exception of a couple of those spots, they're like new, there's no heel drag. So I think we could get 50 to $60 for these. And once again, two, a little over $2 per item. So great, great pickup. Great pickup. This was amazing. Yes. And then. We, One second, let me grab it. We don't pick up hard goods very often. We've said that, okay? So then we say that and then look at this big hard we good. Do. <laughs> but this is a typewriter, as you can see. It's a brother typewriter. And so if you're looking for to flip a typewriter the way we understand it is brother is a good brand. And we've already flipped one and what did we sell it we for? We sold it for a hundred dollars. And so this one, there's different models that some do better than others. This is an SX4000. And this, we got it for, well, it says $3 on, on the uh, tag there. So, um, so maybe a couple of the other items were a little less. We mm -hmm. averaged a little over $2 yeah. per. But uh, we've recently sold this one for, for that amount. And we looked up this specific model. I don't know if the one we previously sold was an SX4000, but this one sells for about, what, 80 to 100? Yes. Um, we'll keep y'all posted whenever we move it. So church rummage sales. Amazing. So good. 
All right, so then garage sales today. Let's let's move to uh, to some of your items because you found some good stuff. We found so. some great stuff. Okay, All so right. let's start with the first item. This is a vintage Canon jacket. Beautiful, like a silky blue. And I looked it up, but pretty much every one of these jackets is sold out. It was out of stock. And they go for about $40. So 40 to 45. So I think I should be able to get 40 for it. Um, I think it's just because it has Canon on the jacket, which makes it really cool. And the fact that it's vintage. Yeah, it says made in US Bridgeport, made in USA. Yes. So it is uh, just a really cool jacket. It jumped out at me. I think it was $5. Um, but like I said, when I looked it up, every one of these were, were pretty much almost every one of them was sold out. So good little pickup. <laughs> and Cassie, we've said before, she has a nose for this kind of stuff. It's just uncanny. She'll just go right up to it and amazing pickup. Well, he's just amazing too. He's like a computer that you know like sometimes I wish I could just like type into his brain to get information like what is you know the top brands because yes. he has so much information in this head that is just absolutely incredible that you know it's hard for me to even remember all these brands and he's just so good at it so I feel like we make a good team we do. and we tackle everything we try to get everything we can we do so. we we have strengths and, and not so good strengths weaknesses I guess you could say yeah. but we uh we make a good team. Yeah, so that was Carol. a really good pickup. I think I should be able to get about $40 for it, and I paid $5. Next up. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> okay, so we have already sold a vintage pair of Carhartt pants. They were camo pants, and Marcus has actually shared uh, those pants with you before on a previous video. I don't know if y'all saw the video, but this is a vintage uh, green pair of Carhartt pants. Carpenter. Carpenter, they have the little, I'm pretty sure, do they have the little loop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have the they little have the loop, loop, the little hammer loop right here. Put your hammer in there. <laughs> um, and I saw them and I was like, we're, we're starting to learn that anything that's Carhartt and vintage, mm -hmm. um, you probably want to pick it up. Not like jeans probably, but like jackets and like specialty, specialty pants. pants, like mm -hmm. camo or like this green color, like a cargo. Mm -hmm. um, so. I saw them and I was like, let's look them up because we sold um, a camo pair for $85. And so I looked them up and sure enough, the sell through is really good. And they sell anywhere from 70 to $100. And we got this pair of pants for $3. $3. Yep. So incredible. Like today, you guys, and even yesterday, we found some major high value items yes. that are gonna bring us almost a hundred dollars or more yes. on, on, a, on a lot of these items. That's right. So um, that was an amazing pickup. They're in really good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, can you show them the tag just so they know what yes. a vintage Carhartt, um, and it might be kind of hard to see you guys, but it's typically gonna, the tag's gonna look like that. And at the bottom, it's gonna say dungaree fit. If you stumble upon a pair of pants like this that has that vintage tag, where it says dungaree fit. fit at the bottom, um, and you wanna pick it up. You definitely wanna pick it up. Carhartt. We love us some Carhartt. Yes. Good stuff. So yeah, that is an amazing pickup. So you found a pair of pants at that same At the garage same garage sale. sale, yeah. So these aren't quite as exotic and, you know, valuable as the, the Carhartt, but they're still a good bread and butter item. These are some big pants. <laughs> These are mossy oak, they are cargo, they're camo, they have even the drawstrings at the bottom. They're in great condition. We've sold quite a few mossy oak um, camo pants and these usually go, they're a bread and butter, 25 to 30, mm -hmm. probably mid to high 20, something like that. Mm -hmm. But camo is really, really good with a lot of items. You, of course, always want to check it, but this particular brand, Mossy Oak, uh, with with pants for sure, is really good. And then the fact that it's a big size. Yes. In fact, let's see. Big these size. are a 48 to 50. They're a 3XL. That's amazing. So really big size. These are probably going to be hard to come by just finding them in, the, in that big of a size. I think you might be able to get $29.99 for these. Yes, I agree. They're, they're a 3XL and then they're in really good condition. So yep. I think you'll be able to get probably 29 And they have the 
breakup country. So mm -hmm. I guess that's the type of yeah. camo. Mm -hmm. But um, we're kind of learning camos too. So there's so many things to learn. Yes. But um, yeah. but anyway, this is a great item. A lot of we've sold so much camo. Uh, we sell camo like crazy. Random pants. Mm -hmm. And if they have cargo or carpenter, like she said, with the Carhartt, that always helps. Not all camo pants are a pickup. Some of them are a pass, but a lot of them are mossy oak. We've been able to sell quite a few of those. Yes. And a big size like that is always a plus. Yes. So great garage sell that that was. That was a great garage sell. Yes. So we're going to move on the, to the good garage sell. Okay. Another garage sell. This one was all right. so good. So these are both Cassie's items. So. Let's do these first. Okay, yeah, so we found these hokas. Y'all know hokas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love them, they're in good condition. And yeah. so we got, we, let's see, let's see. Other. Clifton 8s. Clifton, Clifton 8s, yeah. So for both of the items that we got, we paid $30. So we're just gonna say 15 each. So we paid $15 for these hokas. We paid up a little bit than we typically want to pay, yes. but we're still going to make a great profit. What did you say that those go, I, go I for? I found a sole comp for this exact Clifton 8 with the black and the white sole um, for 70. So, okay. so I think, well, and these are in great condition. Oh, they're in great, they're condition. In great condition. Usually you'll see some wear on the inside. Mm -hmm. These, when you feel them, they feel like new on the inside. Yes. You can tell the guy wore them just a little bit, but we'll right. be able to clean them up and get them really, really, you know, like new. And so I think we'll be able to get between 60 to I 70. I agree. So. I agree. So still, we paid up a little bit, but still we're going to make a great profit on those. Yes. You cannot go wrong with Hoka as you, Hoka's as you know. So, yes. we and these are so excited when we see Clifton this. eights, and I think Clifton nines are the newest one. Yeah. But the sell through rate, I looked it up on the Clifton eights, is still over 100%. So these are still sought after, and uh, like like she said, you can't go wrong with Hocus. Can't go wrong. All and right. And then the big daddy. let's All go right. on to the next item. So we can get this in here. These, I know. Let me try not to knock oh Cassie out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we going water skiing, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> let's get it. So I have actually sold oh. a pair, okay. I have actually sold a, a pair of skis like this already. We got the other pair and I'm gonna show y'all the comp, but we got another pair of these at another garage sale. We paid $20 for them and we flipped them into $150, which was absolutely amazing. So when we saw these from the road, these are a pain to ship, but we just couldn't pass them up see, to see $150 sitting there and the guy only wanted 15 for them. So we just we just couldn't pass them couldn't up. Pass and like I said, we've already sold a pair, so we know that these are gonna sell. Um, a lot of people will buy these as decor to put on their on their walls in their home if, if they really are into skiing or just want it for decor. Um, so these are vintage water skis. Dick but Pope. Dick Pope. Apparently that's a, a popular brand. We yes. don't know much about it. Okay, so Goodwill. Oh yes, yeah. so we, we went all the garage sales. sales and, yeah. So we went to Goodwill and we found some amazing stuff. So let's start with uh, the, the two things. Okay, so I found a pair of, here we go, jeans again. You know, it just, it's like a- Y'all, if y'all ain't selling It's a merry-go-round. It's a merry-go-round of money making that just comes around, okay? So these are so cool. When I first saw them, I, they're Levi's, um, and you could show the tag up okay, close, yeah. but when I first saw them, I was thinking, okay, these are just a red pair of Levi's, and you know how I say that multiple, like weird colors, I think sell. And so I, I saw Levi's 501s, I normally would pass on those, but uh, but because they're red, okay, they're cool. Well, we got to looking, looking it up, and we still don't know quite what it means, but we think these are vintage. Mm -hmm. We looked at this uh, particular tag and on the inside, yeah, I think um, they are. we found a sold comp and we can put it up on yes. the screen. We'll we found a sold comp for, you could tell this almost looks like the red got on the tag from the jeans, but it's that's just kind of how they're supposed to look because I found a sold comp that's this exact uh, one, different size, $49.99 and they had it listed for uh, 90s Y2K-ish yeah, right. type of vintage. And so I think that's what these are. And they mm -hmm. are in amazing condition. They are. Really, really uh, good jeans, the front, cool it color. Has a it has a button fly yes. on the front, which is really cool. And they're a good size, bigger size. So I don't know if we'll get $49.99, but I think we'll get maybe 35 to 40 at a minimum. Um, they're in really, really good condition. Yes. And just found those just, 
just sitting all by themselves on a Goodwill rack, just saying, cack attack, take me home, <laughs> find me a good home, and you can make some money along the way. Yeah. And we were like, certainly, come home with us. <laughs> yes, we love red jeans. <laughs> We love red jeans. Yeah, that was a great pickup. Marcus yes. eyed those. That's amazing. Yep. Amazing. Very cool. Very cool. All right, and then we'll do, uh, we can do the, the sweater. I'll go ahead and do mine, and then we could, because we have to save Cassie's for last, because, oh my goodness, <laughs> she got the greatest item. Okay, so this is, it's in a way, it's a bread and butter item. This isn't always a pickup. It's a cool sweater. This is Armani Exchange AX, and... I've looked up certain items, like I've looked up uh, shirts before, and I think I've even looked up some pants, some dress pants, and they were okay. I mean, when you hear Armani, that's, that's like, I guess, designer, but, um, but most of it's a pass. But this, I looked it up, there's about 38 listed, um, and about 18 or 19 that have sold. Yes. So this is 50% wool, merino wool, and when you look up, I did that exact search, and that was the, the sell-through rate I just shared, it's close to 50%, and I think we can get probably in the high 20s yeah, uh, for this one, $29.99. Sure. Um, it also has a very cool um, collar. Uh, I don't know exactly what you call that. It's not a Henley, but um, some of you, if you want to comment, Yeah, let you us may know, know what it is. Yes, and then also, if you look at the sleeves, it's not an elbow patch, Yeah, it's like a but little... it's like a little a little hit on, yeah. on the elbow side, so really cool. Very cool, it's a so, cute, cute sweater. Yes. Yeah, so 25 to 30? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yep. Good pickup. Even though we're moving out of winter. Hey, so. still good. All right, and we saved the best for last. Well, let's get to this one yeah, first. Yeah, let's do okay. this one first, okay. Right. So this is, I wouldn't typically pick up this brand, which is 90 Degree by Reflex. But this is a super cute, and I think it's one of their newer, um, newer thing. Like I think this is newer because I couldn't find this anywhere on eBay. So well, yes, it is newer. Newer. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like I mean, like you know, like yeah, new. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a uh, new with tags, which is why I picked it up, and it retails for seventy-two dollars. It's like a ribbed Henley uh, activewear workout top. And I couldn't find it anywhere pre-owned, but I just had to pick it up because it was new with tags. It's a beautiful color, like a sage green. And he always makes fun of me. That girl like, knows her color. She throws out colors and I'm like, what color is that? <laughs> I don't have a clue. She was saying like, mauve in the last video. I'm like, mauve? I'm like a color guru. Like I can see colors in colors. And, yes. and Marcus is like, dude, I don't know. How the you other day we were looking at something for her office, which we're, we're going to be videoing in there soon. <laughs> and there was something that was white in the store. And she was like, oh, I see green in it. I'm like, green is white. <laughs> But she no, really does see it. I'm not clowning no, her. I just don't see it. Yeah, um, it, there really was green in the white. But like, I don't know why, but I can definitely late see colors in colors, like layers of colors. Mm. I know I'm crazy, but mm -hmm. but this is, um, <clears throat> I had to pick this up because this is new with tags. And it, like I said, it retails for $72. I think I should be able to get at least $29.99 for it, I think. That's the tag. Um, but it is a cute ribbed active top. I think some girl is really gonna like this. Oh look, it says agave green. Oh, so it's you agave, can, okay. You can add that to your repertoire it's agave, of- agave, uh, guys. Exotic colors, agave. <laughs> I love it, yep. So I think that'll sell. And the find of the day. Brace yourself, y'all. Cassie yep. found a good one, Major Bolo. Major Bolo. Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I was going through the jackets and I saw this particular jacket. I'm gonna keep the suspense up for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the back. It jumped out at me. It just felt like good quality and I felt like, I was like, you know what? This, this is speaking to me. I feel like I need to look it up. And I looked it up and sure enough, That's here's right. the brand. Y'all, I'm saying y'all, y'all. Y'all. Major Polo. How do you say it? Relwin. Relwin. Look for the bird, kind of like bird dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look for the little bird. Yes. And mm. I looked it up, and when I saw the sell through rate, I almost fainted. Marcus was not with me, he was in another area of the store. There's like in this um, particular uh, jacket, I think there was like 66 listed, and over 200 had sold. And so I hurried up, I, I was like, 
motioning to Marcus across the store, like, hurry, come over here. I just found a major bolo. Yes. And I thought to myself when he was coming over, I'm like, he probably knows this brand because Marcus has all the brands stored in his brain. Yes. Um, and he he's like, you know, a computer in there. But I did not know the brand. And so um, I called him over and I'm like, you have to look at this. This is amazing. This jacket is in excellent condition. Yes. And this particular one sold for $150. So we think that we can get $150. It's in great condition and we paid $5.99 for it. $6. So this was the pickup of the day. Relwin, this is our first time. We're so if, excited. And if any of you have picked up Relwin yes, or any of these us. other brands, tell us. Yes. Comment, comment, comment. Yeah, we know. love the comments. We love the YouTube community. Mm. Blow us up with comments. We yes. don't so much like the negative ones, but those are starting to fade away, and we love the positive we ones. We love so the interaction. Good, we get so many yes. positive comments, and, and thank y'all so much. And we love the the interaction. Yeah, that, we that's love talking so to y'all. Yes, it's so much fun. So much fun. But this was an amazing pickup. We have been finding, today was incredible. The estimated value is just gonna be so amazing. I haven't added it up yet, but it's gonna be incredible. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. We hope that we shared also some helpful tips for you guys. And if you have any helpful tips, please drop them in the comments. We are new to this reselling business. Yes. We're trying to learn as much as we can, but we're always open to learning more. And also, we wanna drop this. The next video that we have coming out, <laughs> we have coming out, Marcus is preparing for it. It's Woo. going to be incredible on Thursday, coming up at seven o'clock Central Standard Time. But he is going to have a video on Polo Ralph Lauren. Yes. And you don't want to miss it. Set your alarm, mark your calendar on Thursday at seven o'clock. miss it. Because it's going to be incredible, y'all. You're going to learn so many amazing yes. things about Polo Ralph Lauren, what to pick up, what not to pick up. Marcus is going to cover and go into great detail. So yes. do not miss that video. I'm excited and I'm also a little nervous because it's a big undertaking. I've been doing my homework and my research search and but we've come up with a game plan for what we think is going to work for our store we're going to share it with y'all yes and maybe it might help y'all too i hope it does so it was so much fun hanging out with you guys i hope you enjoyed it and yes. we will definitely see you on the next one later